I'm not good at this. This is really tough. I can't do it. When we say these phrases, it's partially because we don't take action. After all, it's up to us to shape our future. No one else is gonna take responsibility. But in my opinion, it can also be because of our environment. Just like they say you are what you eat, it's the same with you are who you surround yourself with. If you're trying to lose weight, but you're surrounded only by people who eat junk food every single day, it will be tough to establish a mindset that will tell you, I can do this. Instead, surround yourself with people who want the same and staying healthy will be much easier. The same thing goes for languages. If you never surround yourself with people who share the idea of I want to get better at languages, you'll never find opportunities to practice your language skills. And let's be honest, the stuff that they teach you in school or university, yes, it's definitely somewhat helpful, but it will not get you anywhere unless you actively practice what they teach you. And that's just not going to happen with your local friends. Why? Because they prefer to speak your language as it's then easier to communicate. Meaning, you have to put yourself in an environment that makes you speak that one language that you want to practice. So I decided to share with you my top three ways for improving your language skills and at the same time meet new people. Number one, tandem events. Tandem is basically the term for two or more people, maybe even of different backgrounds and mother tongues, sitting together in order to practice the same language they want to get better at. And by sitting together, I don't mean in a classroom. I mean in a bar, in a park or wherever you want. Tandems exist everywhere around the world and the easiest way to find them is by joining the Facebook groups of your local city and just joining their events. Or if you don't want to wait until the event happens, you can just ask in the group if anybody wants to practice the same language as you. Either way, they're a lot of fun and you know that you will improve your language skills if you keep keep going to tandems regularly. And don't be afraid because you don't know anyone. Again, they share the same mindset and interest as you. In other words, they are your friends. You just need to meet them. Number two, Erasmus events. If you're a student in Europe and you've ever considered studying abroad, you've most probably come across the term Erasmus. It's basically a European program that allows you to study abroad without having to take care of too much. Anyways, there's a network called the Erasmus Student Network, short ESN, that makes events especially for Erasmus students. But local students can join as well. Meaning, if you attend Erasmus events hosted by ESN in your city, you will meet many people from many different countries there and therefore people who speak the language that you want to practice. So if you would like to join an Erasmus event, but you're not really sure how to approach the responsible people, you can, again, just check out the Facebook event and see how you can join them. Once you're part of an event, boom, you'll meet 10, 20, 30 new people at once. Honestly, Erasmus events are one of the best and easiest way to not only practice your language skills, but also meet new people. But the by far best way is number three joining the Erasmus Student Network. This is not only going to take your language skills on a higher level because of the amount of people you're going to be able to practice them with, but it might even be life-changing for you. I joined the ESN about four and a half years ago. Since then, I'm at 500 new people, practiced my French and Spanish skills, maintained my English skills on a higher level, and now I know at least one person from every single European country. Which basically means no matter where I go, I will always know someone to grab a drink with or to show me the city. So if you're a European student and into meeting new people, getting to know new cultures and practicing your language skills while having a lot of fun, join the Erasmus Student Network. The easiest way to join ESN is by contacting the ESN Facebook page of your home city and simply asking them what you have to do. So if that sounds good to you, then join ESN and who knows, we might even meet someday. And for all those of you who aren't old enough to join ESN or go to such events, there's a fourth way to improve your skills easily. Watch TV shows and movies in the language of your interest. Seriously, it helps so much to even just listen to a language being spoken every single day. Just put subtitles on to be sure not to miss out on the plot and you're good to go. Es que en verdad debes irte, huh? Sí. And if you're afraid that you might not enjoy the TV show as much as you would usually do, just watch one which you've already seen and then you can focus solely on the language and not so much on the plot. Let me know in the comments below what you think of these tips and of ESN. I would love to hear your thoughts. I'll see you in the next video.